Hey guys, this is Alessandro and I want to ask you something before I jump to the main topic of this video, alright? If you have any question related to animation, the gaming industry, visual effects, the feature film industry, or just some curiosity about animation in general that you want to know about this industry, uh, please write down something in the comment. I will make a video and I will answer to you, okay guys? So let's jump right now to the main focus of this video. And I want to tell you that sometimes, guys, you just need to talk it through with someone, okay? What do I mean exactly? I want to give you this example. I want to tell you this, what happened to me actually a year ago when I was doing, when I was having a lesson with one of my students, right? If you if you follow my channel, you guys know I do one-on-one -on -one lesson. It's one hour. We work directly in Maya on the exercise, stuff like that. I, I show to them how to do the animation, blah, 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 right? And so what happened during the lesson after more or less 40 minutes, uh, I realized that the uh, you know the students was very frustrated about something. I don't remember exactly what was specific. We were talking about foot animation or something, and I could sense in him uh, his frustration, right? Because he always had this kind of problem. He was telling me that he always struggled with this kind of stuff. And so at some point I kind of stepped back for a minute and I started to tell him that I you know back then when I was studying animation, I was uh, uh, having the same issue that he used to have right now with me, right? I was sharing a few experience how this was impacting my job at work, right? How this was actually slow, slow me down, right? I, I shared with him some uh, tips and tricks and uh, advice in order to overcome the kind of stuff. And I could see maybe at the, at the beginning, he wasn't not really, really convinced. He didn't really understand why the way is better. So I had to talk him through a little bit. Uh, but little by little, I could see that it started to open up a little bit more, right? So, and uh, basically the discussion escalated about, you know, a few other things about uh, animation in general kind of frustrates him, right? And uh, and uh, he was like um, not very happy in general with his previous job, res receiving certain direction, stuff like that. So basically things tended to um, escalate a little bit. And uh, and so basically when I started to talk about it, he started to, to open up, right? And I started to share a little bit more and I could sense that he had this uh, uh, bottle up frustration that he needed to let it go, right? Really badly. It was like, you know, you are frustrated about something and you don't have anyone to talk to. And someone, finally someone with me could see we, we were more or less on the same page that I could really understand him um, about we, what he was going through. And he was, uh, he was talking with me, opening up more and more. And when I he saw me listen to him and kind of answering back that we were kind of on the same page, I could see his face lighting up, right? He was very happy and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and, and like this, he was very, very not motivated, but excited to see that finally there was someone that was on the same page like him, that he could really understand him and stuff like that, right? And we were talking for like 10, 15 minutes. And at some point I, I tend to be very cautious when these things happen because I know people, you know, pay me quite a lot to do like a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me obviously I want to focus most of the energy on the animation I want to give them I want to feed them with as much as information and detail so I can help them to grow right uh, because I value their time I value their money and everything and, and so at some point I was like I wanted to cut it because I wanted to continue to finish on uh, on the animation I was like okay and after chat I told him like let's go back to the to the topic and, I, and he was like no no Alessandro don't worry uh, I actually I, I enjoy talking about this even if it's not strictly strictly related to the assignment I I, I feel like this can be beneficial for me because I can I had this uh, um, frustration bottled up for very long and now I can finally talk it out like I don't mind Alessandro don't worry for for the lesson like this it's it really it makes me feel better he told me right uh, and this for me was was an eye opener, right? Because obviously most of my lessons were just focused on animation, animation, animation. Yes, people were happy and satisfied. Uh, but there was a scenario where the students just needed someone to talk it through, right? Uh, it, and the funny thing is that uh, I realized after, you know, he was able to open up, stuff like that, I realized that his performance was actually better. It's like somehow he understood a little bit better the motivation, he understood a little bit better why I was giving him certain direction, he understood better the benefits uh, why I was asking him to do things in certain way, and especially when I told him, hey, look, I tried the way, the, the methodology that I you're using it is what I used to use before, and I only realized three years later that there is a better way, a more efficient way, right? Uh, and again, in general, I realized that he, he, he creates a better relationship, all right? And uh, and, uh, and overall, his performance was getting better. 
right this quality of his work was getting better uh, and in general like the communication even with me was was better right I, I realized he started to open up more about other things that bother him about animation uh, he anytime he has more doubt he was more uh, willing to ask and stuff like that so overall he improved the entire situation right but there was something that this kind of snapped back in, in my head because I remember when I was studying uh, animation right by myself and uh, obviously I was I think 19 20 years old and uh, you know the, the funny things I was myself in front of the software and try to learn Maya try to learn 3ds Max and learn animation obviously but I basically was by myself I had no one else who had the same passion like me in Italy in Rome and you know all my other um, high school friends had completely different interests and didn't care at all about anything like that so I feel I was completely uh, lonely in, in this challenge, right? I have no one else to share about this. Yes, I have my best friends and everything, but yet no idea about what I, I was doing except the fact I was trying to learn 3D, right? So I couldn't really share anything. Uh, I try sometimes to explain to him, I could see his face completely blank, like he had no idea what I was talking about. Uh, obviously now with the family and stuff like that, nobody could really understand me. And and this adds an extra level of, of frustration because already learning animation was already difficult by itself especially as i told you guys when, when i didn't have youtube or tutorial or stuff like that just the software so you can imagine the nightmare even more frustrating where you have nobody to talk about it and it's uh, it's it was very bad right and i realized how things improve for example when when i went to animation mentor because uh, it was this online school there was a community suddenly i went from being completely alone like not having anyone else to share my passion uh, in, into a school where everybody was passionate about animator, right? So it definitely was something that really, uh, you know, it was it was very nice, made me really really happy. Uh, but still, it it wasn't, I would say, the perfect scenario, right? And there is a couple of reasons. First of all, the the mentor, the person who has more experience than you and is teaching you. Uh, for example, when they give you the critique, they give you a pre-recorded critique or even if it's a live critique, usually it's only five to ten minutes, so they need to be very focused. Uh, um, on uh, on addressing the things that are not working in your animation or sometimes when there is like an hour class it's with the rest of the group and it, you cannot really focus sometimes uh, really uh, if sometimes you want to be talking really true about a specific topic like you're talking with a friend or someone and I don't I didn't feel like I was feeling like doing it in front of the class with other people you know I didn't really know them very well and uh, and also the other things that when I when I talk with the other classmates, it, it, it was mostly by chat, right? It's not that I was chatting them every day by video camera or anything or video call. So uh, yes, was definitely an improvement, but still not something that he, he, um, he you know, he, he, it solved entirely the problem, right? And so this makes me thinking because I know that probably I wasn't, I'm not the only one in in that situation. Of course, from now it's different, but back then, right? Uh, and so I'm probably thinking maybe between the people who follow my channel. There are people like this, right? That it's uh, uh, you, my guys have you know been working animation, study, and you are by yourself in front of the computer, like, hammering and try to push that skill, try to make the pose look good, try to make the timing, and maybe so. Besides the fact that you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the um, uh, you know you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the uh, the skill to do what you need. Sometimes just like this. Sometimes what you might need just need to have someone like that you can uh, talk these things through um, I don't want to see like mentor slash friends let's put it that way right and, and maybe that sometimes you will be surprised uh, how having just someone that listen to your problem someone that listen to your frustration that you've been facing it uh, rather than just being looking at your assignment telling you what to do uh, how much can actually help like I was surprised myself because I started to adopt these more and more with my students right I try to chit chat a little bit at the beginning of the lesson uh, asking them how they're doing like, what kind of problem they face if they just want to uh, talk about it a little bit more or, or sometimes it happens very very naturally you know when we're discussing about a specific topic in the, into the animation there is I go into a specific part and I feel like maybe he's doing some mistake over and over uh, and so sometimes I try to dig even more like hey, what is the reason behind you are doing it for a specific reason um, Obviously not everybody feels comfortable to open up But when they do I really see like a, a benefits and I can slowly, really see their face lighting up and, and and be more more happy I can see that the relationship is getting it's getting better, right? Uh, and this is something like I learned I would say in the, in the last year and something I could never uh, imagine how beneficial something like this could be right 
Uh, and so maybe this is something you want to think about it. So it's again, it's it's very important, of course, improving the skill of your animation. But maybe sometimes you need to someone who can really understand you, and uh, and um, you know, like really talking through almost like like a friend. You know, like you kind of want to open up sometimes because you know, being an artist is difficult. We are very hard on ourselves. We always want to push each other, and sometimes we can be very introvert. Or, you know, we are not very comfortable. Uh, and maybe you know, if you if you're having a a, a mentor or a school or whatever, it's. Uh, uh, you know, it wor it's worth a shot, give it a try to, to talk to the person and see, hey, well, I would like to have a, um, a relationship that is a little bit more open in terms of dialogue rather than just be animation, 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 right? Um, of course, sometimes when I when I talk with my students and they told me that before they were they went to a college, they uh, they went to a school or whatever and asked them, hey, uh, uh, they actually, they told me like, hey, Alessandro, I never had with any of my teachers this kind of good relationship I'm having with you. And I was asked them, oh, have you tried to, to talk a little bit more with the, uh, with your teacher, with your mentor? And they were like, yes, but you know, he was just coming into class, giving the lecture, blah, 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 that he's supposed to give, giving quick critique, and then sh fade away. Like, you could feel, he told me, I said, I could feel, uh, everybody could feel he didn't really care. He just was there to do his job, which is kind of sucks, I feel like, all right? So, so yes, maybe if that's, that's the case, you know, for you guys, um, I always say, guys, find find someone else, find another school, another mentor. Uh, yeah, you choose, you do your own research, but definitely I, I can tell you guys that you deserve more. And again, just because sometimes talking things through, it could help tremendously. Uh, you will be surprised. You could see for yourself. All right, guys, let me know if you ever felt like in this situation or as I mentioned before, if you have any other question regarding animation that you would like to know, write it down. I'll make a short video about it. All right. See you next time. Ciao, guys.